What's up, guys? It's me, Critical. Uh, uh, there's a very special channel in my heart called Bendy, Bendy Plays Dancing Demon, and there's very few channels I love this much, such as Bendy Plays Dancing Demon, otherwise known as Bendy the Kid. Now, it's very. There's actually like a trilogy at this point. I think this is actually the third. Sans vs. Bendy. It's called Sans vs. Bendy. This doesn't make much sense because there's a whole one hour movie on it. An action movie. It was a very great movie. I only watched half of it. I didn't even watch half of it. I watched like two seconds of it and then it got deleted because the channel's gone. I'm guessing this is just a recap. Okay, that was the full thing. Um, and you can see this is a little bit of a masterpiece because it runs at... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how fast it runs. 13 frames. A second. If not even 12, I'm not good at counting. Let's just assume it's at 12 frames per second. All of this movie could easily be stretched out to like... 6 seconds. You know, but I, I, I applaud Bendy Plays Dancing Demon for his, his ability to not s stretch his videos for more ad revenue. I applaud him for that. Let's just go through this, because this is a little bit confusing on what you might be seeing. Okay, for a bit of reference, I've made an MS Paint drawing. This MS Paint drawing should give you a good enough reference to tell which character is which. So, as this is the reason I bring this up is because this character, it might seem a little bit confusing. It just looks like a bunch of blobs. But, if we look at this in this perspective of Bendy, right, we have the signature head shape. Huh? You have... You can kind of see a bit of a smile going on. And you, you can see the teeth are a little bit wrong. He got a little bit lazy on this, so it's more of it's more of sharp teeth. You see this? A little bit sharp. But what's really confusing is this. The cone head. He, is he wearing a crown? I, I don't understand it, but that's the first frame. That's the second. And here, here is a little bit confusing, right? Because, well, it's not confusing at all, actually. This is actually pretty straightforward. It's the most straightforward one I think that's in here. Alright, you have the smile. It's very straight. He has the triangle nose, as you can see. And the circular eyes. And the problem with this is that only one of the eyes has a pupil in it. Which is actually a nod. As you see this, it's a nod to this. Now, what I could recommend is more of a, more of a, uh, this shape, not more of a circle egg shape. Uh, you know, MS Paint circle shape, you know, you hearing me? None of that. I think mine is a pretty good drawing. Uh, let's give them some of these things. Now, this is also a bit confusing. Um, what could this be? My first thought was these were bones. And this was a hand. You see where my cursor is? This is a hand, and these are bones. You know why I say that? It's because of these little, little bumps at the end. See here? When I was a kid, I wanted to draw bones. I was too bad, so I drew, I drew my old, old dogs, you know? It just sucks. If you do this, you're bad. Now, you actually want to draw it is like this. You want to... You want to... You want to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of curve, you know, a little bit of curve. Obviously, I'm not a drawing expert, but this is a much better bone than this. And as you can see here, this is a, definitely a hand of some sort. As you can see, that, that line of the sleeve. Let's let's just uh let's assume like. If the hand is like this, hold up. Like that's like the thumb. He has some messed up thumbs. You can see here he drew this one much bigger than the rest. If we were to isolate this bone and put it away from here, you can see this this finger is much bigger than the rest, leading me to believe that this is the thumb, meaning that Sans is using his left hand because Sans has the power to use bones, which. I'm not sure about you, but I think this might go against canon, since I think Sans is a right-hander. Um, Bendy Plays Dancing Demon, I would want you to reevaluate this video and change that. Because look, his if his thumb was on 
on this side, on this, this side right here, it would be going upwards. But yes, yeah, so you can clearly tell that this right here is the thumb. And I don't believe Sans is a left-hander, so... Apparently someone else has asked the same question in 2015. And this person... Uh, says they're ambidextrous. I can't say that, I'm sorry. And this person guesses that a right hand based on the trombone zine, which does make sense. You wouldn't use your non-dominant hand for pulling back the trombone, I would assume. This, this person says he's a lefty. This person also says he's a lefty. I don't know. Uh. So uh, maybe maybe Bendy does hold the thing. Okay, um, next frame. Now what is going on here is possibly beyond me, but I have no idea who this is. I have a good guess of who it is, but there is just there is no possible way. If we go back to previous frame, we can see the bones. I could assume this is a bone, but because of the thumb. Right here, as I was talking about earlier, the thumb, if this is a hand, this thumb is on the left hand, meaning that this is, this is Sans in his hand, but if, as you can see, it's not connected to this character, and if this was Bendy, he would, ha he would have the oval shape. You see the oval shape on top? He doesn't have that, nor does he have the pointy ears. And his hands only have three fingers on it, as you can see, the triangle body shape, that doesn't fit. It actually fits more of Sans. He kind of has a Kinda has like a trapezoidal shape going on here. Bendy has an oval. He's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a big guy, you know. Um, who this is is beyond me. I don't know who this is. I don't. None of these people have. I mean, Bendy does have three fingers. I mean, he has four if you count the one in the back. I could see how you can mistake that with three though. And uh, the smile doesn't match up. It matches up more with Sans than Bendy. But that doesn't make sense because I don't think Bendy's a left-hander. Well, Sans is, as we just confirmed. But the the head shape also goes with Sans. All in all, I don't know who this is. It's very hard to tell. It's probably Sans, but that doesn't make sense because he just threw a flurry of bones. There's no way Bendy can retaliate that fast. I don't think he can. He's not that powerful. Next frame. Boom. Now this one's actually a little bit of a controversial topic, but this can actually see, say a lot of things. It could say loom. It could say boom. It could say leam. Or it could say beam. Or even if the ends are too close together, it could say a lot of things, but I think what it's saying is boom. I think a lot of people would agree with me that saying boom. But I could see the argument that saying beam as in reference to Sans's Gaster Blasters. As you see here, these things right here shoot out beams. I could see the argument that it is just beam spelt wrong. Going back to my previous point, I just... Bendy plays Dancing Demons just stupid. Um, he doesn't know how to spell anything, really. But, I could see the argument. I could, I could see it going on. Thanks, Ram. Now this is probably the most queer image yet. Um, this one's actually very easy to identify. You can see the oval shape. You can see the outline of a somewhat Pac-Man-ish eyes. It's kind of difficult to tell where they are, but you can also see the, the cowl kind of. A little bit of a little bit of riding on action going on. And teeth are a little bit gnarled. He's just drawing this with dead actual pen. He's on his Samsung tablet. He didn't, doesn't have a drawing pen or anything. He's just using an actual pen on the tablet. He th you know, he thought that's what you're supposed to do with it. It's not. Um, if we go back to Boom and how gnarled this is, it could be that the Boom just afflicted on, on Bendy and that the bones just hit him. That could also be inferred. Now it goes on the sands. What you can identify here is that he has his eyes. You can easily tell it's the sands. The smile, the eyes, the shape of the head. There's an X on the top. Which is very interesting. Let me go back to my previous point, actually. If Bendy just got hit with bones, then this here must be Bendy and not sands. That's always a good theory. I think that supports me very well. 
and the X at the top could mean a lot of things for the later. This is a little bit foreshadowing to the future, the one second story. That maybe the X could mean that Sans is about to get impaled by maybe his own attack by bones, maybe by some ink, something. Now what's going on here is actually beyond me. I have no idea what this is. If you know what this is, please tell me. I cannot even begin to infer. My first thought when seeing this was Sonic the Hedgehog. Just because uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, he kind of has the shape of that. You can see right here, it kind of looks like Kind of looks like Sonic the Hedgehog, if this is like the shoulders and these are the hairs, hair spikes, you know. It's kind of outline of the eyes, in a way. Um, do I think it's Sonic the Hedgehog? No. It doesn't make any sense, but it's, you know, it, uh, you know, actually. What it could be... One of these things on the side. You seeing this right here? On the side, it could be one of these things. If this is the eye, this is the open mouth right here. And these are the back of it. It could be. I think it could be. I think this is a possibility. It could be a gas blaster. Which could... That could lead in. This could be the... That was an accident. I'm sorry for giving you spoilers. Um, this could be the beam... And that's definitely Bendy. Bendy is about to get impaled. Absolutely destroyed by the beam. I think this is a gaster blaster. That is, there is, there's no refuting it. it. It looks exactly like it. It has all the structure. And it has the open mouth as the jagged lines. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Now, if that's the beam and Bendy just got wrecked, you could tell because of the head shape, you could tell because of the, uh, the facial, the facial features, as you can see. Some really good artistry right here. I would also assume that this is Bendy because of how gnarled it looks, and a, you can kind of see the outline of the, the little, little red riding hood action. Problem is that there's like hair or some reason on it. I, I it's kind of hard to tell. I I want to say it's the inside of one of these things, the mouth. You seen this? If this had a bigger mouth, it was open up. It could be this, and this could be the beam. But I, I, from the size of the beam in comparison to the size of the creature, I don't think it's true. What this is, I don't know. I I can't tell through the, the mangled six-year-old kid scribbles, but. It's it's something, and I would need to be a major in psychology to be able to determine what this means. Bella, what are you doing? Now, we're going into the halfway point of this story. This one says Bendy. Um, now, this could be inferred to say Bempty. Bem, bem, Bentpy. Bentpy, as in... He does have... A little bit of a problem with capitalizing his words, as in his previous channel was called Bendy the Kid, not Bendy the Kid, is Bendy the Kid, because the T was capitalized. It can be a little bit difficult. This can also be an H, this could be Bend, Behen T, or Behen P, as in, you know, it can mean a lot of things. This could be an L, and this could be a zero. It, it could even be, it could be, you know, there could be a lot of things that this could be spelling, but I think a lot of us can agree that this is Bendy. This could be a D right here, too. This could be an L. It's just the only r real thing that I can see here is probably this Y and this E. This Y is very well made. This E, on the other hand, it's not well made, but at least you can tell what it is on like, the rest of the characters. Next frame. Um, you can tell here this is Bendy. He got a little bit lazy on the facial features because there is none. Also on the hands, he did, he did bother to draw four hands. And... It maybe I'm looking at this in the wrong way, but if I were to turn my body and see, the thumb's on the wrong side of the hand. Unless his hand's tilted palm up, which doesn't make any sense because he's defending from an attack. You wouldn't put your palm towards you when you're defending from attack. Because who wants the backhand, a gigantic laser beam, as you can tell? This is a shield that's a laser beam. No one backhands a laser beam. It doesn't make sense. You want to put your palm up, right? So I think this is just an artistry error. The thumb needs to be on the other side. Assuming that this is a thumb, of course, I think it is because it clearly looks like the rest of these are, 
are just way too undetailed, and then the thumb is way too actually curved correctly. But it's also way too small, and it's curved directly with the side of the hand. It's, it's a correctly drawn thumb. But yeah, I think the thumb should be on the other side, unless Bendy backhands all of the laser beams that comes towards him. And the other hand, uh, literally on the other hand, I have no idea what's going on. It, I, it, I couldn't possibly know what, what that is. It's a gnarled mess. These lines aren't even connected. This isn't connected. But I think we can still get the point that a laser beam is coming towards him. Bendy likes backhamming him. Um, you can't tell his facial features anyway. This could also allude to the fact that if there's no facial features, his face is on the other side, meaning that Bendy is using the correct hand, and that this hand's actually behind him. But that doesn't make much sense, because this barrier isn't going in the correct direction, and the laser is going in the correct direction, so this leads me to believe that Bendy's actually looking to the left. So I do feel like a little bit of better art could go on here. Um, a solid, like, 2 out of 10 could be better. It's not even a 2, it's probably a 0, but... I have to give him some points for almighty ex-wife, Bendy. Now what this is, is beyond me. I think I know what it is. Let's go back to the picture. It's a smile. You see it's a smile. It's, uh... I want to say it's sans, but the number of... Oh no. But the number of teeth do not add up. Sans does not have that much teeth. You can see here. You can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's 6 teeth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He has 8 teeth. You know how much teeth Bendy has? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. This is actually Bendy's smile. Now, what also leads me to believe this, just in case this is an artist error and he's kind of got sands. You can also see there's a curve on the side of his mouth. There's no curve. This one's more rounded on the edges. This, this is clearly bendy. Now this is also sans. You can see because of the head shape has a little bit of the, a little bit of the, you know, you've seen the, the microwave, the, the eyes, the smile. You can tell what's going on here. He's a little bit. If we go here, it could be mean, mean that bendy's like he's bringing out his anime last power move. Sans is just having a. Oh, good old heyday. He's about to die. He didn't realize that Bendy had this much power level. It's in the millions by this point. What this is is probably big old tentacles or something. I don't know. I didn't draw this. I don't want to draw this. I don't want to ask the person who draw this. If I were, I would. I would need a lot of preparation for my mental health to ask this person what any of this means. Because on a deeper level, it means something that is just so crazy. I don't know what it is. But I can tell this this might be a hand of sorts. The thumb is off frame, but that could be possible. It could be more bones without any of the ends or something. It could be like sharp bones. It could be on like tentacles, as I said, like ink maybe. Isn't that in the game? Some ink. Um, it could be a lot of things. This one says boom. This does also solidify the fact that it does say boom. But it also doesn't in a way, because it could say Doom. As you can see here, it's a D. And what this is, I think this curve does mean it means Boom. This extra line over here. But it could mean Doom, as an impending Doom for Sans, because he's about to get whooped by Bendy so hard. And that's the end. That's the end of it. We're not going to know what the ending is. Um, It might come out soon, it might come out never. I have no idea. Please do not contact me about this. 